everybody so I'm back today excuse my appearance I got off work and then I had to go to Walmart and then we had to get some things that we needed we needed I needed some new work pants my husband needed some new work pants I needed some new shoes for work so excuse my appearance I am now, it is like 6.40 Eastern Time, and I am just now even able to wind down. I had to cook dinner and all that great jazz. So, you guys are probably like, shut up. Let's see the haul. So, let's go ahead and get this haul hey, started. So, the first thing I had to get is some good old kitty litter, and this is the 4-in-1 Action packed and okay, let me so why yeah. I get that one is because it really keeps down with the odor it clumps really good um and she really enjoys it so that's pretty much mostly what all that really matters and then the next thing I picked up is I'm getting low on mascara and I saw this so I was like why not so I might be doing a first impressions review on this mascara. And this is just the Total Temptation Mascara by Maybelline. And it is in 601 Blackest Black. And then it talks about how people have seen full fluffy lashes, 85%. Some people have saw... Bold, full volumes, no overload, 92%, and then 4 out of 5 saw their lashes being length, so I thought, why not, right? Alright, and then the next thing that we picked up is, this. I picked this up for myself, and this is the Scream Trilogy, except for it is missing the fifth one, which I really kind of don't care about because, um... I kind of just think the fifth one was kind of corny. And then we also picked up the Justice League, which you guys are probably like, what? Yes, you guys. I am a major DC um, fan. And this movie right here, I actually thought I was going to fall asleep to this. Because most time movies that are pretty boring, I fall to sleep to. And I actually didn't. This actually kept my attention. So if you have not seen that, I would definitely recommend getting it. And then my husband picked up Hardcore Henry. And the reason why I'm kind of interested in this movie is because it is from a first person view. So I thought that would be kind of cool. It is action packed. He loves action packed films. So. We have not watched that yet. And then we have already seen this, but he absolutely loved this movie, and it's the Hitman's Bodyguard. He can't get enough of this movie, and plus we are both um, Ryan Reynolds fans. Okay, and then he picked up some pants in the brand... What brand is this? Some Wrangler jeans. Just picked up some work pants because we really needed work pants you guys my work pants were starting to look like pantyhose and then it was starting to rip at my belt buckle and this one is just the brand faded glory I believe yeah this is just faded glory nothing too fancy and this is skinny four-way stretch super comfortable if you guys are looking for something that um one reason why i really like these jeans is because they're really skinny at the bottom which i like but also i like tight fitting pants to where it actually shows my curves and whatever but the reason why I like these is because they are tight fitting, but also they're very stretchy, which make them super comfortable. Alright, and then comfortable. obviously we all know what this is. I always get this. It's 12 that equals 26 rolls, supposedly. And this is the cheapest toilet paper, like 6 bucks at Walmart. So I always just grab that. And then I grabbed 
this right here that I've really been liking and it's um actual um what is it I am extremely having a brain fart right now yeah when I think about this I'll have it written across I'm having a complete brain fart right now but I've really been enjoying this product and this is the ultra downy infusions in lavender serendip serend <laughs> I said y'all. <laughs> so I really have been enjoying this and it smells really good. And it leaves your clothes smelling so fresh. I've already used some because I had to wash some work clothes for my husband tomorrow. Um, and then I just picked up for $9 you guys you get 89 loads and this is tied which I love tied. And the reason why I love tied so much is because I was raised on tied. My dad was so anal about Tide, Tide, Tide. He did not use anything else. He didn't believe that anything else washed clothes except for Tide. So I think that's why I still stick with Tide. But I stick with this one because this one is a little bit cheaper than like the actual Tide. And then this little bag is filled with some goodies that I want to do with my hair. And my husband needed some shampoo, so he just picked up the Flake Defense Old Spice Stronger Swagger 2-in-1 Anti-Dandruff Soaps, or shampoo. So he just picked that up. And then I was using Splat to um, dye my hair blonde on top. And I just kind of feel like um, the splat is turning my hair yellow. Now, I don't know if it's the actual hair dye or if it's my water because I have really bad water. Like, it's bad. Like, my tub turns pink. That's how strong my water is. Um, so, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and try this. I used to use this back in the day when I was a teenager, and this is the L'Oreal Paris Feria Extreme Blonde. So I'm thinking about obviously touching up my roots with this and then trying to go over the yellow and really seeing if that kind of helps. If not, I don't know what to do. And then I want to add some streaks and then I want to add some big thick streaks like around my face and you guys will be seeing this in my vlog and that is this one and it is the smoky pastel and it's smoky lavender you guys I am really going to try to do something fun and exciting I have dyed my hair probably every color you can think of besides like crazy colors like I've never had pink hair I've never had purple hair I've never had blue hair or anything like that but I have like put um dark red in my hair um streaks and stuff like that I've always kept my hair pretty natural so <laughs> this is going to be something really extreme for me you guys <laughs> I have never put any crazy colors in my hair before. Okay, and then I had to pick up some deodorant because I ran out and I was running out so bad, you guys. I was too lazy to take my ass to the store <laughs> and buy myself deodorant. I was using my husband's like, hi, I'm the ratchet bitch, y'all know. <laughs> so I picked up this clinical protection. I've always been using this for, my God, probably since I was like 26 to now because as we get older our bodies change and my armpits decided like bitch we gonna sweat all day all night so I have really been enjoying this stuff right here you guys if you guys are someone who um, suffers with armpit odor I would definitely recommend picking this up you guys probably already know like hi I am 30 years old like now getting into the invention of everything Oh god, and it smells so good. It is in Smoothing Calamon. I don't know what, I hope, I think that's the scent. I don't know. <laughs> so this is what I use, you guys, to help my armpit odor problems. 
Alright, now this is another fun little bag. Um, Walmart had some clearance racks in the men and women section. And my husband was needing some new, like, sleep around the... Sh sleep. Like, hi. Hang out around the house shorts. So... <laughs> He picked up these ones. They're just basketball shorts. And of course they're in red because that's like his favorite color. And then um, it's just the and one brand. So I thought these were pretty cool, pretty dope, pretty fly for a white guy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright, so <laughs> those are those. And then I picked these up because I was like as soon as I saw this I was in the middle of Walmart doing like the moonwalk and shit um some little spandex hang around the house like if you don't want to leave the house but you want to stay chill but also cute I found these for $3.88 you guys and they're just hold on while my shit flies <laughs> they are just stretchy what do they call them? Crop shorts? Yes. And they're no boundaries. And oh my god, you guys. These are like really stretchy, loose fitting. And so I like I have really been obsessing with just plain colors. Like I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I need a V8. Um <laughs> so I just picked these up and I'm legit, you guys. 388 super cute take your ass to walmart right now and pick you up some all right we're back we're back in action all right so again these are just the same ones and they are in the gray and these are in the size if you're wondering extra large 15 excuse me 15 to 17 and i just i can't get over these like those are. Get your ass to Walmart and pick us. Pick your ass up. The last place we went today was um, Shoe Carnival, and that was because I had to get me some new work shoes, you guys, because my feet have really bad arches, like high arches. Like you could drive a school bus under my fucking foot. I'm not even playing. And I've been wearing these $3 shoes that I just found at Walmart one day. And I was like, yes, $3. Well, now I know why they were $3. And they're killing my feet so bad, you guys, that I can't even. Like, when I walk, like, right in my arch bending area, it feels like my arch is bending. And it's not. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. And I told myself I needed new shoes. But I just kept putting it off, putting it off, just because I don't like spending money on this kind of crap, like stuff that I need for work, and it's like, oh, really, I could have bought what I paid for these shoes, I could have bought like 10 makeup palettes. <laughs> so, I was in there, and I always have a problem buying shoes because I can never find the shoes that have the right arch or it's not too high and I used to back in the day I hated wearing Nikes like I thought Nikes were gay I'm like god who the hell would wear those all I ever wanted to wear were Etnies and DCs and shit and um so these are the guys that I went with I was not really excited for the price of these and these were on Clarence you guys on Clarence <laughs> This is what I ended up going with are these Nikes right here just for the simple fact because I don't know if that's picking it up but the arch in here oh my god as soon as I put these on I felt like I was walking on clouds I'm like ah uh, ah uh, and the people in the shoe carnival are like and I'm like ah uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know the exact style of these because this is legit how the box came. <laughs> and I ended up... Oh, these are the Women's Nike Flex 2017 RNs. I don't know. So, and these were on clearance, you guys, for... 
God, as soon as I'm like, oh my god, I'm trying on all these shoes that are like 30, 40. I'm like, damn it, they don't feel good. Damn it, they don't feel good. Damn it, they don't feel good. It's too tight over here in this area. My toes poking out in the front, and then I'm like, I put these on. I'm like, oh my god, these feel so good. Of course you feel good. You're 75 fucking dollars. So those are the shoes I ended up picking out for working. And then they were having buy one shoe, get the other shoe a half off. But I told my husband he could get a pair of shoes, but he could not find any kind of shoes that he wanted. We were in there for like two hours, and they say that women take forever. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so we were in there for quite a bit of while and he couldn't find anything and I have been wanting these you guys so bad and I'm like awesome since he can't find anything I jumped on this immediately I have been wanting a pair of Nike slippers well I don't really know if you call these slippers but like sandals I've really been wanting a pair of these. These were $25. I ended up getting them for $15. I was super excited. I'm like, it's fate. And the thing that I really love about these is I have already put my foot in here. And then I noticed like right here, it has a little bit of an arch support. Do you see how it kind of bows up right here? So I thought these were super cute. I just wanted the ones, they had like ones that had pink and camo and then the Nike was pink. I'm like, no, I just want something nice and clean and classy because we're back to the I'm being plain Jane. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys. So that is everything that I picked up at Walmart and Shoe Carnival. That was everywhere that we went today because we had to pick up some stuff for the house and then I wanted to do obviously something different with my hair which you guys will see in a vlog and then we picked up some movies that we did not need but you know how that goes and yeah and then we picked up some makeup that we didn't need like stop it girl stop it so yeah that is everything for this haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big huge thumbs up and I'll see you soon in my next video.